Hi, Jason Anderson from Metro Electronics. In today's workshop, we're going to take you through the installation of an AX DSPX ETH1 in a 2024 Chevy Silverado. So let's get started. So we've got in the shop today a 2024 Chevy Silverado. Of course, it has bows in it. Um, the Bose amplifier on this particular vehicle is located on the back wall of the truck. Um, we went ahead and we did some prep ahead of time. Um, the AX DSPX-ETH1 interface is basically ready to plug in. So I've got uh, a board here that we installed, we wired up power, got some amplifiers hooked up, we already have our RCAs run. So really, what it comes down to when you're at this point of the installation is plugging in your RCAs and then plugging in your vehicle-specific connectors. So there's two different styles of connectors for uh, Silverado and Sierra trucks. Both are included with the kit. So it's an ETH1 harness or an ETH2 harness, and largely that depends on the year of the vehicle. So this particular one is an ETH2 harness you can see we've already got our amp bypass harness wired up here. Okay, lock our connectors in. And we are ready to plug in our ETH1 interface. There you have it. So the next steps would be to get this thing mounted. Um, obviously, we have all the amps kind of adjusted. And um, next is to set up the app. So with the interface plugged in, we come back to the vehicle. The ignition is on in the vehicle. Currently, I don't have any volume. And the reason why I don't have any volume is because the CAN information and the Ethernet information is controlled from the radio to the amplifier. So the amplifier actually controls the volume. In order to set up our DSP interface, we have to connect to it via Bluetooth. So we can go into our Bluetooth app, connect, Hit scan, connect to our access DSP. We can go down, scroll down to vehicle type. We're in a Chevy Silverado 22 and up, which covers the 2024 that we're in. We're going to hit apply. And we're going to hit lockdown. Lockdown is what is going to save your. It's going to save all your settings. And as you can see, after it's done saving, it's gotten to a point where now the ETH1 interface knows what vehicle it's in, it knows the type of communication, and it's ready to start producing audio. So, in order to do some fine tuning, which is all based off of the types of amplifiers that you have in the system is we've got to go into our outputs and we've got to tell our DSP what is hooked up to the factory speakers. So I know for, you know, from the installation of this particular vehicle, I know that channel one is my front left tweeters, channel two is my front right tweeters, Channel three is my front left door. Channel four is my right front door. Channel five on the DSP interfaces is always gonna be your subwoofer output. So channel five, always gonna be sub, right? Channel six is going to be my left rear. Channel seven is going to be my right rear. So if I go in, turn up this volume, now I've got all of the outputs of the DSP allocated to their positions within the vehicle. From here, I've got crossover adjustments that I could go in. I don't want my tweeters playing, let's just say I want my dash tweeters playing from 370 hertz and up. I go down here to the rear, again, 370 hertz and up. So you can go down and you can adjust your crossover points 
to tailor your needs. You could always do it on the amplifier as well. Um, the way that we have these amplifiers set up in here, they're, they're, there's no filtering whatsoever. We're just passing the signal directly through because we're gonna let the DSP do all the heavy lifting. So we've got low pass filters, we've got band pass filters, high pass, and 12 dB, 24, 36, and 48 dB per octave slopes. So all of those settings can be adjusted within the app. It's really, it's really a, great, a great solution. Um, earlier I was talking about 31 bands of equalization. That's 31 bands of equalization on each output. So you got incredible amount of flexibility. Time delay, um, you know, obviously drivers is a preferred position. That's who paid for the system, right? So you can time delay each individual speaker so it sounds the best for the listener. Um, and then the last one is our inputs. And this is really where the Access DSP sets itself apart. We have chime level control and we have turn signal clicks. In this vehicle, we have turn signal clicks that are controlled and created by the factory amplifier. We've recreated those and we output those through the DSP. So I can raise and lower that volume of those turn signal clicks directly from the app. I can increase it or decrease it. And once I lock that setting down, it's set for the customer. The customer don't, doesn't have to worry about it anymore. So again, this is this is where the Access product line sets itself apart from many other companies that are out there that do a very similar thing. We have the ability to control these levels. If you didn't, there's always, there would have to be some type of, um, you know, customer would have to sacrifice something in order to not have access or control like they normally would from an Access DSP product. So one thing, after you get all of this set, Everything is done. It sounds great. You always have to go back into the configuration screen and lock your vehicle down. That saves your settings to the DSP. So when you cycle ignition, um, unplug the DSP or maybe plug it back in, whatever it is, it's going to save those settings. So now that we're, we've got the camera oriented on the screen, you can see that we still have our volume control, we have uh, prompt volume control, Bluetooth volume control, all from the factory equipment. We don't have to have any kind of external knobs or anything else. We even have the ability to go into the factory equalizer and adjust treble, up and down, mid bass, bass, so that you can offer your customer that a little additional flexibility from their side of things after you have the DSP set and tuned the way that you prefer. So it's a great little benefit. Plus we've got uh, fade and balance retention as well. So you can see that we have just our front right speakers playing right now. So basically we have the features that are retained, the features that are important to the owner of the vehicle that they're maintained and retained. So we've got the chimes, we've got the turn signal clicks, we've got the ability to control fade balance, bass treble, mid-range, um, all directly from the factory controls that the customers are used to. Just makes the installation and the user's interface or the user's experience just that much better. So there you have it. The installation went smooth, it was easy to set up. If you'd like some more information on the Access DSP product, log on to metronline.com. Type those words in and you'll see the search results come back. I'd like to thank you for watching this workshop and I look forward to seeing you next time.